Welcome to Table for One. I'm the narrator, and in today's video, I'm going to be playing Voidfall. Uh, I'll play a solo game of Voidfall using House Xenor, um, starting with the cloning technology, and I will play the map and one for all. Let's get rolling. So I am all set up to play a solo game of Voidfall. Somehow I managed to fit everything in the frame just barely. So I am playing the second solo scenario. It's a level two complexity called, what is it called? N1 for all. Um, and I am playing as house Xenor. Um, and I chose the cloning um, starting technology and setup. The other techs, you know, I randomized as usual. Uh, and I got houses Fenrax, Chevaeus, Thegwin and Valnus. Uh, so that leaves me with carriers, central surveillance, dreadnoughts, decontamination chambers, terraforming, neural matrix, shields, and escape pods. What else? We've got our safe havens up in the top left corner there. Uh, our crisis boards in the top right are, uh, I'm playing on normal difficulty. Uh, so the level zero uh, crisis cards that we're starting with. Uh, on the military track, you need to get the improved. Um, starting technology and on the economic track have 20 or more total combined resources or i'm sorry it's a uh, 20 or more total production yield uh combined um so that's what i'm starting with and i guess i need to take a look at that galactic event uh before i get going i just want to note again uh, i'm using some components that you might notice you don't have um mostly tokens uh, these are from my 3D printing business that I own with a couple friends. There's a link in the description if you're interested, um, but I'm not going to um, put a lot of emphasis on that in this video. Um, but gameplay-wise, I'll be using a drawback for bounty tokens and reclaim tokens. And then as you can see, obviously the fleet tokens are different. Uh, guilds, installations, I think that's probably it. Um, anyway, just wanted to mention that in case you notice that things look different so i've got cloning so when you raise a population you may gain one credit or activate one fleet power that's my starting tech and let's look at this first galactic event it is glorious ascension so we're gonna have five turns this cycle i need to add one reclaim token and one sector defense in one adjacent void born sector. So that's going to have to be one of these two sectors. Uh, this sector here is Fallen House Valnus, if you can't see. Um, this is a Genesis sector, which I'm pretty interested in getting. I'm not so interested in this one. A reclaim token could be nice here. So I th think, hmm. man, it's gonna be a lot to attack that. But yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna put it. So here's a reclaim token and a sector defense and now i can either improve a glory token and activate a fleet power or um, raise one civilization track that's interesting i think i'm going to raise a track i might just raise this one society track and get rid of this uh, corruption right away and then at the end of this cycle, I want to have oh, at least one uh, track marker um, at level one or above. And then I can activate a fleet power for each. That must be for each pure uh, track that's one or above. No, well, if I have one that's one or above, activate one fleet power per, per, per pure track. So up to three fleet power. Okay, interesting. Um, or if I have at least one glory token that's value four or five i can remove a corruption from a sector okay um so now we need to reveal the alert card <laughs> and it's war right off the bat come on um but the voidborn will have minus one fleet power 
and I have no corruption, so they'll be at one minus one is zero. So I suppose I can handle that. In fact, maybe it's good to get the war card out of the way when it won't do any damage. No, I don't really have a strategy. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Uh, I think I'd like to get some tech from Valness here. I definitely like the Genesis sector. I'd love to be there. These are both really nice looking. Uh, this one in particular. I don't know, they're both great. Um, I don't know if I have a lot of appetite necessarily for that asteroid belt, unless I'm going to be real aggressive. Uh, and I didn't take the destroyers, so probably not. Although there's carriers and dreadnought techs. Um, and then there's the rift, so. Hmm. Let me take a look at my cards and see what I'm going to do. Okay, I think I'm going to start with progress. Uh, and I'm going to take the top action, which is free, to place a scientist guild. I'm going to place that right there and increase the level by three. And then the second action, I'm going to spend two science, so I'm down to one, to gain a tech. And I can't get an advanced tech yet. I think I'm going to grab escape pods. Uh, so I'm going to get four influence for this, up to 14. Um, I get to activate one fleet power and take a trade token. And what am I going to take as a bonus? I think I'm gonna take two energy as a bonus for the trade token. Um, and then in combat, when I need to recall fleet power, I may instead move the fleet power to your home sector once during combat. And I may have an additional trade token. All right, so that was two actions here. Put this trade token here. Now we have the war card, so we need to skirmish uh, at zero. So I win the skirmish, and then there's no other effect. So that war card is out of the game. Guess I'm glad to have it over with early. Uh, so on to the second turn. All right, for my second card, I'm going to play How's Zenor's special uh, conquest card, and I will use the trade token to take all three actions. So I'm gonna start with the action at the bottom, experiment, pay one science, which gets me to zero, to then produce science, so that gets me back up to three, and gain a basic tech. So I want another tech, and I'm taking carriers this time. So that's going to give me another four influence, I'm up to 18. I guess before I do that, I should figure out what the heck this crisis is. Whoopsie, level one crisis. Uh, after you add a science guild to choose to also um, recall a fleet power from the same sector. So that's not going to affect what I'm doing. So anyway, I gained carriers. I gave myself the four influence. Now I can activate a fleet power and deploy a fleet power into a carrier fleet in my home sector for a cost of one food. So let's pay the food. This is going to be a carrier. Let me get the token. All right, so here's a carrier fleet. And there's the fleet token. It's on the uh, basic side, so it can only hold one fleet, as opposed to the improved side, which can hold three. So there we go. Um, so I can deploy into carrier fleets. And, oh, I forgot about this. When you deploy your pre-existing carrier fleet power, uh, count as a shipyard each. That's fantastic. That's going to help. All right, so I'm racking up the techs, which is you know, sort of this house's style. Next, I'm going to pay two energy to take the top action, um, which is engage. And that uh, I'm not going to invade. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to regroup. So I'm going to move one, two, three. Um, uh, and then the third action is invest. So that's three credits. Wow, this is so great. That's all my credits, though. Um, but I gain a trade token and an agenda. So let's take the, I suppose we'll take the agenda first. And I really like the wealth agendas. I don't think I want the top one, though. So let's grab the next two. Oh, that, uh, that'd be good. That'd be good. <laughs> I like both of these. 
I'm going to take intellectual supremacy. The other was technological singularity. They're both good. Uh, but it pairs super well with my origin uh, starting agenda. My starting agenda gives me two influence for basic text and four influence for improved text. And then this gives me another two influence for basic text and three for improved. Uh, so that's great. I want to hold on to that. And now I gain a trade token as well. And I think I'll probably take two credits. Yeah, two credits sounds good. All right, so that was all three actions. So I now put the trade token back. Conquest goes here, place this trade token here. Um, I'm going to take the penalty on the crisis card and just add a Voidborn fleet power to every rift. There's only one rift. So there we go. Now that's discarded. All right, going into turn three. The alert card is one. It says, after you spend a trade token, choose to also spend one credit. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, so next I think I'm going to play politics. And I'm going to take the top action first. Spend two science to advance the statecraft track, which allows me to activate a fleet power. And... I'll take the second action, which is divide. And this is how Zenner's special politics card, by the way. Uh, spend one energy, one material, and one science. There goes my last science to activate a fleet power and invade. And I'm going to invade this fallen house sector here. And I'm going to invade with um, this carrier. I'll just put it to the side. And the carrier deploys a Corvette. And then I'll also bring one Corvette from here with me. So this is what I'm invading with. Uh, there's two sector defense. So I take two hits. Um, so I lose these two. One goes back here. But because of escape pods, the other goes back to my home uh, sector as a Corvette. And that's it, I survived. So, sector is mine. Here is one glory token, so I get three glory. Up to 21 influence. Um, there's a bounty token here, so let's go ahead and resolve that. So as I mentioned, I use draw bag. Um, just the very boring plus one resource of any type. Um, so what resource do I want? Probably science because I don't have any and that's what this house is all about. Um, and then for uh, liberating house valness here, I also get a reclaim token. Separate drawback for those. Let's see what I get. All right, I can build a sector defense and, oh, it's an and, gain two influence. So the sector defense goes here. Gain two influence. Like that. And I get one tech between escape pods and shields. And I have escape pods already, so let's take shields which I really like. That let me uh, deploy a Corvette to my home sector. And in combat, if I have at least one Corvette present, I gain one salvo uh, absorption. So let's take this, flip it over, and put it here. There we go. I'll just put the, uh, down here, I'll put advanced cloning here. 
my starting tech if I can grab it later. So now I can have six techs. I'm already up to four. Um, and that's great for my scoring. Um, hmm. So I think that's it for politics. Now I did not uh, achieve the crisis or resolve the crisis card. Um, I'm going to add it to the board, though. I'm not taking that penalty. So I'm pretty confident I can resolve that soon. So let's go into the next turn here. Number two. Alert number two. So the crisis card is after you gain a tech uh, with a influence bonus, choose to also corrupt an agenda. Otherwise, we're going to, the penalty is corrupt um, the dominance uh, agenda offer as well as spend a science. Mm, that can go either way. I wasn't planning on gaining a tech this turn, and I don't know if I want that one ongoing. Well, I think I'm going to play Reinforcement next. Um, where do I want to start? All right, I'll start um, with Accelerate on the top. I'm going to deactivate a fleet power. Um, oh my goodness. Hold on, let me go back. I feel so silly. I never dealt myself the top three heroic focus cards. Let's take a look at what they are before I play Reinforcement. Politics, uh, I've already done. Development and Progress. Progress, I've already done. So those are kind of out. Development is on the table, though. Right there. <laughs> I don't have room for them. Um, whoops. So I can also take heroic development at some point if I like. Uh, but I'll stick with reinforcement, I guess, for now. Um, so, okay, deactivate a fleet power to advance one track. And it's going to be, hmm, gosh, yeah, that kind of threw off my plans, that heroic card. Okay, if that's the case, I'm going to advance, oh, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. What am I going to do? I guess, who cares? I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to advance the statecraft track so I get to activate a fleet power and place a installation. So I'm gonna build a shipyard here. And then uh, the second part of this action is building a sector defense and I'll put that here. Um, and then the next action, I'm gonna do muster. So I'm gonna spend two materials to deploy one fleet power to each shipyard. Um, and the carrier Counts as a shipyard, so I've got one, two, three, so I can deploy three. Hmm. And I think I'm going to spend three food. So I'm down to one food. And make them all carriers. So I think that's looking pretty good. All right. There we go. And I did not um, complete that crisis. I feel like I'm going to regret this. <laughs> but I'm going to add it to the track on the economic side. I think that's really going to hurt me in a minute. <laughs> um, but it pairs with some of the other stuff that's up there. And I just, I think I can do it. All right, number one. Number one alert, the crisis card is, while resolving a production focus, choose to uh, remove two bounty tokens from the map. Otherwise, you pay some resources. I was thinking about doing production until that heroic development came up, and I think I'm gonna do development. I'll probably pay the penalty, and that's fine. So I'm going to discard my development card to play heroic development along with this agenda. And I'm going to flip a trade token as well. All right, so I'm going to start with this top action. Spend two materials. And I don't have any, so I'm going to spend two credits to place a guild and raise a population in the same sector. So I'm going to place another science guild here, which makes this go up by three levels. Six, seven, eight. 
Um, and I raise the population from three to four. So it goes up another two levels, nine, 10. And whenever, because I have cloning, whenever I raise my population, uh, I can gain a credit or activate a fleet power. I think I'm doing okay on fleet power right now. So I'm gonna gain the credit and I kind of need that. Great. And I'll take the second action on that card, grow, spend three resources, so one credit and two energy. So those are both down to zero now. To add a guild. And I think I'm going to add, yeah, to heck with it. I'm going to add one more science. Hmm. Yeah, one more science guild here. So that goes up another four levels, 11, 12, 13. So that's maxed. Uh, I just need to produce it now. And I can gain four resources. And I think I'm going to take three food and one credit. Now for the third action, um, I'm going to spend one science. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, that's fine. I'll spend one science, so it's down to zero. No. Just kidding. I'm going to, instead of taking that third action, I'm going to take the agenda action, and I'm going to uh, make one more guild, and I'm going to put it here. And so I put another science guild. So it goes up, it can't go up by two more, it's already maxed, but then I produce. So I have one, I produce 15. Uh, so I'm maxed out because it's how Zen or the overflow becomes credits, right? Yep, the overflow becomes credits, so I gain a credit, and I gain three influence for overproducing once. Hopefully the first of many times. And now I'll take this last action to spend one science down to 14 uh, to remove the corruption from a sector. And in that same sector, build um, an installation. So I suppose I may as well put a shipyard there because uh, a lot of agendas score for shipyards. I don't have any of them yet. Um, and now I need to return this trade token, and after using a trade token, spend one credit. Done. So that gets rid of this crisis card. Put this back on the galactic board. This has been used. And this I can tuck in here. Okay, I believe that was five. One, two, three, four, five, yep. Um, so I just need to deal with that crisis before moving on. And I'm not gonna have enough resources to pay the penalty, which kind of stinks, but uh, what are you gonna do? So that's going on the econ track and it is going to hurt. But that's the way it is. Um, so now we resolve the crisis board. So we're at the end of the cycle here. Uh, so we skirmish with plus one, which is just one. So if a Voidborn fleet power were to come in here, and they can't, that's a home sector. Here they get uh, destroyed on the way in. Here they get destroyed on the way in. So I win the skirmish. And now I need to pay the economic track. Uh, so I do have one science. I don't have uh, any materials or energy, I do have one credit, so I'll spend one credit. So that means I'm three resources short. So I'm gonna lose nine influence. So I go from 26 down to 17. Wah, wah. Uh, now I need to pay upkeep. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, I miscalculated that too. That's a problem. I've only got four. How did that happen? Whoops, okay. Uh, so now I'm gonna have to lose another six influence. So after all that, I'm down to 11, and I started at 10, that's not great. And on top of it all, I didn't achieve either of the galactic uh, bonuses. 
Youch. That's okay. Um, so let's at least score the agendas. They're both pure. That should give me something. So for each, I'll just combine them. Um, for each basic technology, I'll get four influence. One, two, three, four. Uh, so four times four is 16. So that gets me up to 27. I don't have any improved techs yet. Each pure guild gets me one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm at 33. And each, oh, if I have four pure sectors, then I get four, and I only have three pure sectors. So I'm at 33 after the first cycle. Um, that's fine. <laughs> Let's take these cards back. Add innovation into the mix. I need to remove a trade token from the game. The text become unlocked. The improved text that is. And I need to make a new alert deck. So this unused one stays there. The rest can be reused. So I need a level one, three level twos, two, three, and one level three. Flip it over. One of these war cards. Let's grab that one. And now grab the old alert cards, put them here. It's just one. I'm confident it was a number one card because we saw the war card and the number two shuffle them a little bit so there's three twos a three and a war card in here and two ones okay And I need a new galactic event. So the one on the top of the stack here is Dark Ages. Five turns. Uh, place one reclaim token and one Voidborn fleet power on an adjacent Voidborn sector. That's funny. I think that's exactly what I got in cycle one. Oh, no, not quite. Cycle one was a uh, sector defense. Uh, I'm still adjacent to the same sector, so I guess I'll put it here because yeah, these can only hold one Voidborn fleet power. So that's where it's going. I need to corrupt the dominance agenda. Or might, I'm sorry. That's might. And each player spend up to six science to gain the same amount of credits. You know, that's really useful for me because I'm going to overproduce science either way. So I'm going to spend six. Uh, 13 minus six is seven. And then I get six credits, which is easy to calculate. Zero plus six. And I want to have eight satisfied upkeep at the end of this uh, cycle, or uh, eight or more pure uh, installations. And I've got five of those currently. I probably prefer the upkeep because that gets me an agenda. And I want those. So uh, let's draw the first alert card. And it is a one. Starting me off easy. Uh, when you gain a basic tech, choose to not gain the four influence or gain one without four influence or spend two science. Two science is pretty trivial. I think I'll probably do that. I got enough going on with <laughs> gaining, gaining techs. Okay. I think I'm going to play uh, the special conquest card. Oh, shoot. I need to check the heroic focus again. At least I caught it in time this time. So what's on the offer here? Reinforcement, production, and prosperity. Um, I don't know that any of that is drastically going to change what I was going to do. Let's put these sort of here. Up top. Will they fit up top?
will fit if I make them fit. There we go. All right, so I'll stick with conquest. Um, and I'm going to do the middle action first. I'm going to spend three credits, one, two, three, to gain an agenda and a trade token. Let's take the agenda first. And I think I want a dominance agenda. I don't know if I want that one though. And I'll look at the next two. So we've got commercial syndicate and enlightened nation. Um, enlightened nation looks pretty good. Yeah, enlightened nation looks like that's gonna work better for me. I still need to get this one out there in order to score it, but uh, I want to have at least one pure civilization track, at least at level three. And uh, I gain three influence for each pure sector with at least three populations. So I've got a four and two twos, so I can work on getting threes. Um, so we gained an agenda. Now we also gain a trade token. And what do I want? Probably food, because that's going to be an issue later. Let's take two food. Okay, and then I'm taking the bottom action to spend one science to produce science. Um, so six plus 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so I overproduced. So I go up to 36 influence. And I also get to take a basic tech. And I think I'm gonna take decontamination chambers. Um, so this one does have plus four influence, um, but I think if I skip it, I resolve this crisis. Uh, choose not to gain it or gain one without four. You know, I think I'd rather have the four influence or just spend the two science though. Like I've got tons of science. So I'm going to gain the four influence. Crisis be damned. So I'm up to 40. That allows me to move uh, corruption, but I don't have any corruption to move. Um, but for this crisis, I can choose to corrupt an agenda slot, now that I've gained one, with an influence bonus. So that one is solved. And that's it for this card. So I'll pay two science to resolve this one now. I'm taking the penalty. And now I need to take a look at the next alert card, two. So the next number two crisis card, uh, invade with at least five fleet power. Otherwise the penalty is corrupt a civilization track. Yuck, I don't like that one. Hmm. Okay, so what am I gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna do politics next. I'm gonna start with the top action, spend two science to advance the statecraft track. So that gets to go twice, and now I can gain a tech, and I'm at level, or I've unlocked at least one uh, advanced tech, so I'm going to take advanced carriers from here. So I gain six influence, and I can activate a fleet power and deploy a carrier to the home sector, and my carrier fleets are no longer limited in power. So that means I can flip these all to the advanced side and start to combine them. So now I have fewer fleet tokens. That gives me a lot more options. Uh, so I can deploy one to the home sector right there. And that costs one food to do. So that's pretty cool.
And for my second action, I'm going to take Divide, which is the middle action on that card, which costs um, one energy and one material. Those are both going to be credits and one science. And I can activate one fleet power and then invade. And so I'm going to invade this sector with uh, one carrier. And that carrier deploys a Corvette that then gets taken out by that sector defense. Uh, so this is what's left. And so I've got the only uh, initiative, so I win the combat. So first, I gain three influence because I uh, add up my glory there. So I'm up to 49. Uh, and then when you take over this sector, you gain two food. Uh, you can activate one fleet power. Um, and then there's a pre-printed Farmer's Guild, so I get three levels there. One, two, three, and let's count this up now. Oh, no, that stinks. Okay. I've got my yield is three food and one materials, and then 15 uh, science. So I'm one yield short of uh, that card. I was hoping that might get me there for some reason, but it didn't. Um, and that was my two actions. And I, uh, mm, I'm taking the penalty on that crisis. So I'm going to go ahead and corrupt this econ track, which I haven't used at all yet. Cause I don't want, I don't want that. Uh, I don't want a war card to come up and get wrecked. Uh, so speaking of what is the next alert card Two. All right, so this crisis is increase a pure population to six. Otherwise, deactivate a fleet power. All right, for my next turn, I think I'm going to spend this reinforcement to play the heroic reinforcement. And I'm going to start with the top action. Spend four resources. Um, let's make it science. Ten, nine, so ten to six. Um, and then I can regroup. Regroup is the word I was looking for. Uh, I can regroup, uh, which is great. So let's put this token here. I'm going to regroup like this. One, two, three, four, Five. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Um, and I gain four resources, and I can uh, increase my lowest civilization track, which is this one. So that gives me nothing. That's too bad, because that would have been eight resources. Uh, so what are the four resources I want to gain? Probably food. Okay, and now the second action um, cost four materials, and I have none, so that's all going to be credits. And I could uh, activate a fleet power, of which I have no more to activate, and I can deploy to each shipyard, which includes my carriers. So I'm going to deploy a Corvette here. Corvette here to this one. And sure, I'll spend no, I won't I won't spend anything. I think I'm I think I'm happy with just that. <laughs> that was kind of expensive. Alright, but that heroic focus card's done. Oh you know what? On that deploy, I'll, I'll deploy one to here as well. And now for the crisis card, I'll take a penalty and I'll recall that same fleet power. So that didn't actually hurt me at all. So I've taken the penalty, that's done. And that was turn three. So I've got two more. Let's check the next alert card. And it's war. Um, so we're gonna resolve war with plus one Voidborn fleet power. That's sort of a problem. Um, and if I successfully defend, I gain um, Plus, I, I can improve one glory token. 
All right, we'll see how I can mitigate that in a second here. Okay, I think I'll be okay. I'm gonna play Innovation along with uh, this Agenda card, and I think I'll even use the Trade Token right now too. That seems like a good idea. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to use the Trade Token. Um, my intent was to improve my starting tech, but I don't have enough unlocked um, improved tech spots yet. I have to either advance one of these two. So I'm not doing that. <laughs> instead, I will start with uh, this top one, spend two food, and I'm going to spend two credits instead um, to produce... Oh, you know what? Let's undo that. Do I need to do that? I don't think I need to do that yet. Changing the order here. I'm going to invade first using uh, this agenda action. So I'm going to invade the Genesis sector, and I'm going to do that using using a lot of stuff. Let's make some room. So I'm going to move in two of these. Two of these Corvettes. No. Change my mind. I'm going to move uh, two carriers. along with, I guess, two more carriers. Um, and those four carriers can deploy my three available Corvettes. All right, so I'm going to lose one um, on the approach. So let's make it a carrier. Yeah, we'll make it a Corvette, actually, I changed my mind. And that goes here because of escape pods. And so now I have one, two, three, four, five, six initiative, and the Voidborn has three. So I fire first, and they fire back, and I absorb it with shields. So now I still have the initiative. I fire first, and they fire back, and this time this has to be recalled. And now again, I fire first, and they are done. So I win the combat. Let's get rid of the sector defense. Uh, let's gain the glory token. So I gain five glory. Up to 54. And there's a bounty token here and a reclaim token. Um, let's take the bounty token first. I get two food. Like that. And then the reclaim token. Uh, one science guild in that sector. Don't know that I needed another science guild, but okay. I was really hoping for any other guild so that uh, so that I can get my 20 uh, production. In fact, I'm gonna skip the science guild. Uh, my other option is to just take one of any resource. And so I'll take another food, I guess. Um, and now this harbinger needs to go somewhere. And that is going to go here. Man, I really wanted that 20 production yield. Did not get it. And when you land on this uh, Genesis sector, you can move this corruption. So I might as well move it to the decontamination chambers. <sighs> and I'd love to put a guild down there, but I don't have that option right now. So next I'm going to uh, do this top action. Spend two food to produce credits, which is zero, and produce science, which is 15. I've got six. So that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, turns into credits. I've overproduced, so I gain 3 influence. And now I gain also 1 influence for each pure uh, scientists or bankers guild. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Up to 62 now. 
uh, not great looking at <laughs> probably the score, uh, looking at, uh, safe havens. Um, I really need to get moving on some of that. Um, but anyway, that was that action. And now this last action, I think I'm going to take another agenda. So that's going to cost one food, um, and one energy and one material. I think I will spend credits for all three. And what agenda do I want? I kind of want the might agenda, but um, I don't know that I really want to take more corruption at this particular moment, although I could put it on my decontamination chambers. All right, so let's do it then. Mm. I lied. I'm going to take a wealth agenda, even though I've already got one in play, and I'm probably not going to replace it. Um... Yeah, I don't think either of these are going to do it for me, but I want the action. Okay, so that was all my actions. So this goes here. This goes right in there. Uh, and now we have to do the war. So there's one fleet power up there, two, three, and then the war card adds a fourth. So Voidborn come in with four. Let me just look at this for a moment. They cannot come here. This is my home sector. There's, this is not adjacent to any Voidborn, so this is safe. This survivor's colony uh, is immune to the Voidborn, so it's got to be one of these two. Um, if they were, I'm just holding four cubes. If they came in here, they would lose one to sector defense. And then I would have the initiative. I would fire. They would fire back and absorb with a Corvette. Then I'd fire, they'd fire back, and I would absorb as a defender with a carrier, and then I would take them out. So I would win there with no losses. Uh, this one's going to have losses, though. So if they come in here, I still have the initiative. I shoot, they shoot back, I absorb with a Corvette. I shoot, they shoot back, I absorb with a carrier. Now, I shoot, and they shoot back, and I've got to lose something. And it might as well be that Corvette, right? Uh, so that just goes back to the home sector. And now I shoot and they're gone. So that's how that works. Uh, so now we need to resolve the bottom half of the crisis board. So it's going to cost me uh, two energy and two materials. I don't have either of those, but I can pay with credits. And then one science. That's not a problem. And I successfully defended, so I can exchange one glory token for an improved one. So I'll change this two for a three. Okay. And that was that war card. So now that's out of the game. How many turns has this been? I think I've only got one left. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's five in this cycle. All right, I'm going to play development. I'm going to pair it with that agenda that I just took. And I'm going to use the trade token here. So I'll start with the top action, spend one material, and I'm going to spend a credit instead to add either a guild or an installation. And I'm going to add a guild. And it's going to be a farmer's guild right here. Um, and when I add a pure guild there, it makes the population go up to four. So now the level goes up by four from four to eight. And when a population goes up, I also gain a science, I mean, credit. Or I can activate a fleet power, but there's no need for that. And I now have, what's my total yield? 15, 16, 21. Uh, so I've now resolved this level zero crisis. Good riddance. And for my second action, I'm going to recall one fleet power. Will be that carrier. Um, to build a guild and an installation in that sector. And I think I'm going to put materials um, for the guild. So then it's pure. It makes this go from a four to a five. So now the food production goes up a level and materials goes up five levels. And I gain a credit for raising the population. And I can also build an installation. It would probably be wise to put a sector defense here. Okay. 
And I'm gonna take the bottom action here and spend one science to remove a corruption. I'm gonna remove this one. I'm sick of that being there. It's been there long enough. And now I'm going to take the agenda action to add a guild and then produce. So I'm going to add another farmer's guild here, which gets this from five to six. So I increased a population, so I gain a credit. And now food goes up by one, materials goes up by one, and now food goes up by six, which maxes it out. And now I produce, um, so I had eight, I had 15. So I've overproduced my food, another three influence for that. Not too bad. Now I need to put the trade token away. Um, I don't want to slot this card, so I'm just gonna put it on the bottom of the stack. This goes here. And I already resolved the crisis. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That is it. So let's go to the evaluation phase. So now we're going to skirmish. We're in um, cycle two, so we're going to add one. So we've got one, two, three. They're going to skirmish at power three. Let's just grab cubes again. Uh, if they were to come here, they would lose one on the way in. I would fire first, and when they fire back, I absorb. Then I fire again, and they're gone. Uh, if we try over here, it's going to be similar, but even better for me. So they lose one. Uh, I fire, they fire back. I have two ways to absorb it. I fire back and they're gone. Okay, so regardless, I survive the skirmish. Um, and then I have to pay, I'm gonna pay two credits and one science. So that's the crisis board, much better than cycle one. Uh, now it's upkeep. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Luckily I've got 15 food, so I'll reduce this down to six. So I've satisfied my upkeep, all nine upkeep. Um, and now I do have one sector um, with six population and three guilds and it's pure, so I can build one level of a safe haven. And I think I ought to do that. I'm gonna deactivate this fleet power and then I'm gonna recall it and deactivate and spend it. All right, at least I've done something there. And now the galactic event, um, I had nine satisfied upkeep, so I definitely got the top part. How many guilds do I have out of curiosity? One, two, er, installations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pure installations, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, not enough for the bottom, uh, but that's okay. The top one gets me an agenda, and I would love to have an agenda now. And I'm gonna take the might agenda, uh, but not the one on top. Um, definitely industrial nourishments fits better with what I've done so far. So it gives me points for um, shipyards and if my food yield is over eight, which it is. So we'll hold on to that. The other one goes on the bottom. And then I have to take the corruption that's a corrupted agenda, but I'm gonna take it and put it on my decontamination chambers. And since we're in the evaluation phase, I can remove one from the card, so it's gone. That's pretty nice. And now uh, score my pure agendas, which is all three of them. So again, I'll combine the techs. Each basic tech gets me four influence. So I've got one, two, three, four basic techs. So that's 16 influence. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm up to 81. Uh, improved text get me four, five, six, seven, and I've got one of those. So it gets me up to 88. Each pure guild gets me one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I have four pure sectors, one, two, three, four, five, I get four. One, two, three, four. So I'm at 102. Uh, I don't have a track that's uh, 
at least at level three. But for each pure sector I have with at least three population, I get three. So one, two, three. So that's another nine. So I'm at 111 after the first two cycles. But I've got a long way to go in terms of reducing the Voidborn score. My score is okay, but there's two open safe havens. There's a rift out there. Uh, those are the big ones. At least I haven't taken any catastrophe tokens. There's three more Harbingers on the map. I don't know. I think I can manage some of this anyway. Um, I should at least, I'll at least finish one safe haven. Uh, really, I should try and finish two. And maybe I can get to that rift. Um, ideally, I'd like to use my carrier fleet and kind of come this way, but I'm, I'm spread kind of thin. I've got so many fleets out there. It might be worth abandoning some sectors. I don't know. Uh, so let's prepare for cycle three. Take these cards back. Uh, got to get rid of a trade token. Refresh the improved technology offer. What else do I need to do? Refresh the heroic uh, cards, focus cards. It's the earliest I've remembered that. So it's gonna be leadership, innovation, and conquest. Wow. Okay, uh, let's see if I can get these down. I could probably try and do all three of those. Uh, I don't think that would hurt. Um, and then what else? Get rid of this cycle two event. We'll need a cycle three. Find out what that is in a minute. Now we need to uh, get the crisis deck going. So we're going to need, uh, these are gone. These will be reused, whatever they are. Uh, but I know I've seen the war card at least. So we're gonna need three level two cards. One, two, three. And a level three card. And one more war card between these two. How about that one? All right, so now shuffle this up. And I would love to know what you think of the way I'm playing. I'm a very intermediate player. Uh, I make plenty of mistakes, I'm sure. Uh, don't optimize as much as I can. I'm definitely not a pro player. They're out there. There are some very good players out there. Um, and I'm not one of them, but if you've got any advice, let me know. All right, let's put this here. And now I need to also add a Harbinger to the crisis board. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be Econ, who am I kidding? I know that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, um, so let's take a look at this galactic event. Shadow of the Void, six turns. Uh, corrupt every agenda offer, how dare you? Wow. Uh, add one Voidborn fleet power to every Voidborn sector with four or more population. So it's going to be this one and this one. And then each player may remove a corruption or take a corruption to advance a track. That's pretty interesting. Oh, you have to corrupt an agenda, though. I really want to put it on my decontamination chambers. I'm going to take the corruption. Let's go for it. So I'm going to corrupt this agenda, which frightens me some. Uh, and I'm going to advance, I think, this track. I don't want to advance this one because I'll have to take another agenda, or a corruption. Although I, that one I could put on the chambers. And then I could start removing corruption, which would be good. But I think I really want to unlock, well, either of these, I guess, would unlock another tech. Oh boy. I really want to regroup though. Let's do this. Uh, I'm going to regroup, 
definitely these two are moving. Let's get things to the front lines. So one, two, three, four, five. Feel pretty good about that. Okay, um, and then we'll score. Um, a one, <laughs> one uh, influence for your product for your highest production yield, and one influence for your lowest production yield between um, food, energy, and materials. And my energy is at zero. Uh, the other option is if I have no corruption on my player mat, which I would love to get to. Um, and if I have five techs, which I already do, I can get 20 influence. That sounds pretty good. I think I'd rather go for that. Um, currently this would get me 15 influence. So I'd rather have 20. Hmm. Okay. And it's time to reveal the first alert card. One. It's pleasant. Um, so either remove a corruption from one of your tracks or move corruption between your tracks. Otherwise take a corruption corruption. I kind of hate that. <laughs> uh, I just got the corruption off my tracks. That stinks. I certainly don't want to take a corruption. Hmm. 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 If I had to take one, I'd probably take it in this sector down here. Well, we'll find out in a little bit. Uh, I've got to, uh, I got to take a quick break. Um, so there may be a, there may be a crossfade here, but, uh, I will come back and finish this game in a few hours when I have the opportunity and, uh, I will see you in just a second. Okay. And I'm back. I had to go be a dad for a few hours. Uh, it's kind of like this, uh, but the skirmishes are harder and the point multipliers are better. Um, <laughs> so um, I had a little time to, uh, to look at this and plan a little bit, uh, which was nice for me. So I picked, I think the six cards that I'm going to play in order. And I can't wait to see how the crisis cards that I flip over totally wreck my plans. Um, <laughs> as it was, uh, it was going to be close. <sighs> All right, let's start with progress. We're gonna play progress with uh, this agenda that I had left over from cycle two. And I'm gonna start with experiment at the top and uh, I've already forgotten. I think I was gonna place a science guild or a scientists guild actually that produces science. Uh, so I'm gonna put that here uh, and I'm already maxed out so I don't need to raise it. And I'm just doing that because I'm hoping to get points off it later. And I'm also going to spend to science. So I'm at 12, goes down to 10. And that is to gain a new tech. And I'm going to get the advanced version of my starting tech. Um, so I've only got one advanced or improved tech right now. And I've unlocked two, so I can do this. So cloning, uh, that's going to give me six influence. Go from 111. 117 and the immediate bonus is I can uh, move my lowest track up and then move my lowest track up again um, so I'm gonna move my lowest track up and I get to place a guild so I think I'll place an engineers guild here uh, so that goes up three levels to level three <laughs> and uh, now I get to move my lowest track up again, and they're tied, so I'm going to choose the Econ one again. And that gives me a boost to go up again, so I can place another guild. And I'm going to do another Engineer's Guild. I'll put it here. So it goes up two more spaces, or two more levels, to level five. And then the other effect is... Um, for cloning, I can ignore the cost of entering level three and level four on your civilization track. So I don't have to deactivate fleet power anymore. It's super powerful. I think players who are better than I am tend to max out more than one track. I, I, don't, I never get that far, but um, that'll still be helpful for me because I've got so much fleet power on the map. Uh, this, this lets me keep it free. 
Uh, so that was two actions here. Plus, I have not taken this action yet. Um, and I can either increase my lowest sieve track, which would be this one, or I can take a trade token. And I'm gonna do the trade token. Um, and the bonus for that, I'll take the two credits. So my credits go up to four. And now I'll place my trade token here and I'll go ahead and slot the agenda right here. I don't have one of this type yet. As for the crisis card, I'm not taking that penalty, I don't suspect. Oh, uh, I missed something too. I gained the trade token from this agenda uh, but when I moved up this track, I placed this guild and this guild, but I gained another trade token. So let me grab that too. Uh, so that one slots there. Uh, so I get another bonus and I'm gonna take two more credits. As much as I would like the influence, I think the money is gonna be the issue. Okay, so as for that crisis card, you know what? I will take the penalty. I'll take a corruption. I'm gonna put it on the decontamination chambers. So that's full. But this is resolved. Uh, turn two. How's this gonna mess me up? Oh, number two alert. So number two crisis card. Uh, before you spend a trade token, choose to also spend two credits. That might work. Oh, um, and before I forget, I also now have the improved version of my starting tech, so I can get rid of that other level zero crisis card. So it feels really nice to have that resolved. Um, threat level just went down a lot for skirmishes. Um, so for my second turn, I am going to spend my temptation card to play joint leadership, or heroic leadership. And I'm using a trade token as well. Uh, so I'm gonna do all three actions. First, I'm gonna take this middle action, utilize. I'm going to spend one glory token. So I'll spend this one. And I can do an action from a preferred focus. And one of my preferred focuses is progress, which I just played. I'm gonna do that middle action, uh, spend two science to gain a tech. Let's do that again. So I go down to eight science, and uh, when this moved up, it unlocked a third improved tech for me. So I'm gonna grab another improved tech, and it's gonna be decontamination chambers. Right here, so I gain six influence for grabbing that. One, two, three, four, five, six, so I'm at 123. And this allows me to store up to three corruption on this card. Um, and when I remove a corruption, not from this card, I may also remove a corruption from the card. And the immediate action is I can remove a corruption. So I'm going to remove uh, this corruption here, which is not on the card, and that allows me to remove one from the card. Great. Um, and the other half of this action is remove a corruption. So I'll remove this one, not on the card, which also allows me to remove this one. So that's pretty awesome. I just got rid of four corruption uh, and freed up my agenda slots. So they're all pure. And uh, all of a sudden, if there's a skirmish, I'm looking much better uh, between the crisis board and my player mat. Now I'm going to spend, hmm, this is where it's gonna get dicey. Man, I'm getting low on resources. That'll be, that'll be rough. You know what? Before I get too far into this, I'm not going to spend the trade token. I'm only going to take two of these actions. Um, so I did the first. The second one is going to be this top one. I'm going to spend four resources. It's going to be four science. So I go from eight down to four to um, add a cube to a safe haven. So I might as well use one of these. So I'm gonna complete the safe haven on top. 
And as a reward, I'm going to remove a harbinger from the map. Uh, and I think it's going to be this one. I could have removed it from the crisis board too, but let's deny the void born 10 influence at the end of the game. And that's it for joint leadership. Decided not to spend the one extra resource uh, to remove another harbinger, which I know I spent four to remove a harbinger instead of one, but I also like completed a safe haven. So that was a you know, total 30 points. I denied the void born by spending four instead of denying 10 points by spending one. So sticking with it. And I'm going to make this crisis ongoing because I know I can complete it. Unless something catastrophic happens, which is definitely possible in a game with catastrophe tokens. What's next? War. Okay. Uh, so we're going to resolve the crisis board. Um, and if I successfully defend the skirmish, I gain a corruption. That's not so bad. At least with uh, the setup I've got now, I'll be just fine. So that makes me feel good. That's a sigh of relief that the war card wasn't so bad. Um, so I'm going to play my next card, and it's going to be Politics, and this one will use a trade token. Um, so to start, I'm going to spend two science to advance my statecraft track, and I don't have to deactivate any fleet power because of my advanced cloning, um, and that lets me gain an agenda of the dominance type, and I don't want the one on top, so let's look at the next two. Um, yes, federal authority is pretty good for what I'm doing. I already have a dominance agenda slotted. It's enlightened nation. Uh, at the moment that would give me four plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 13, but this one by itself I anticipate will give me four plus 12, so 16, uh, probably 20. I could probably get 20 out of this. So I'll probably, when the time comes, replace this. Um, so that was, oh, and I've got to take the corruption. I'll put it on the decontamination chambers. That's what they're there for. So for my second action, I'm gonna spend one science and two credits to perform an invade action. And I'm going to invade this sector. And I have not done the math on this. I just assumed that I would be able to uh, pull off this invasion. So let's take a look real quick. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna be any problem. So I'm going to invade with uh, these three carriers and two Corvettes. Plus, I have one fleet power available to deploy um, from my carriers to a Corvette. So I'll deploy it. Um, there is a sector defense, so I lose one on the way in. I could put it back on my uh, home sector, but I'm not going to. Uh, Escape Pod says you may uh, move the fleet power to your home sector. Uh, so I'm going to choose not to. So the sector defense took that out. I've got the initiative at this point, so I take out Voidborn. They fire back, but I've got at least one Corvette, so I absorb. Uh, now I fire again. They fire back, so I am going to lose one. I think I'll make it a Corvette. And now I fire again, and they are defeated. Uh, and this one also goes there. Okay. Uh, so I won the combat. I've got to get rid of the sector defense. I gain the glory token. So I'll score glory. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'll go from 123 to 132. There's two reclaim tokens here, which is nice. So let's grab these. Let's see what we've got. One, and two. So the first one is 
at a banker's guild to that sector. And the second is gain four influence. So the banker's guild goes here. So that goes up to level four from zero. I didn't really need production there, but now I've got it. And four influence as well. Nothing wrong with that. It's been 136. I'll just put these over here. I don't have any agendas that score for these, but that's okay. And I've got to do something with that harbinger. You let me know what you think about this rules wise. Um, so I flipped that trade token. Can I resolve this now? Spend two credits before you uh, return a trade token to the galactic board. Can I spend those and then free up that spot? And then I can put a harbinger there. My gut says yes, but I don't, I don't want to cheapen a win if I'm assuming I win. So I'll put the harbinger on the military track, but officially I hate it. I don't want it there. <laughs> All right. Um, and then this action, the other piece of it is I'm allowed to activate a fleet power, but I don't have any deactivated fleet power. My third action here at the bottom, I'm going to spend one science. I'm down to zero and one energy. I don't have any. I'm going to spend a credit. I can move a corruption, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm fine with where my corruption is at. I could put it over there, but I got other, I think I'm going to grab more agendas and I need to leave that open. Uh, but I can also increase a pure population by one. So I'm going to do this one. This one's going to go from four to five. And because I increased a population, I gain a credit from cloning. So those were three actions. Now, before I return this back to the board, I think now is an okay time for me to spend the two credits to resolve that card. For the record, I did have enough credits to do all that if I had spent the credits at the very beginning too. So maybe I should have, and then I could have put the Harbinger where I wanted. Okay, so this goes here. That's my third card. And uh, this, uh, the alert this time was a war card. So now I have zero corruption here on my house mat because the decontamination chambers doesn't count. Uh, so they're going to in uh, skirmish at one. So if one fleet power comes here, it's destroyed on the way in. If one comes here, it's destroyed on the way in. And if one comes here, it's just outnumbered, um, has less initiative and gets destroyed. So I survive the combat. I need to take a corruption. Maybe that is mildly problematic, taking the corruption, but I don't really have a choice. Um, so I might as well put on the decontamination chambers for now. I'm not going to take it anywhere else if I don't have to. Um, and now I've got to pay oof, resources. So there goes my two remaining credits. And, oh, that's two of each. Shoot. And, oh, and I'm down to science. So I'm going to lose nine influence. So from 136 to 127. That was a miscalculation. Um, all right, well, I survived the war card anyway. Let's get it out of there. Uh, so I'm halfway through the cycle. Let's check the next alert card. Three, don't love that. These are always such a pain. After you gain an improved technology, choose to also discard a glory token with a value of at least three. Otherwise, skirmish, and they'll have two approach absorption. Hmm. Yeah, I can't take another improved tech even if I want to, because uh, I haven't unlocked enough. I've only unlocked three, and I have three. I wouldn't mind taking improved shields, which is available. I just can't uh, have it. <laughs> you know what? I think I'll be okay taking the penalty. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play my next card, and it's Innovation. I think I am playing the basic one. Now I'm trying to remember. Uh, and what I mean is my regular Innovation, or was I playing the Heroic Innovation? I think I'm playing Heroic.
And along with it, I'm going to flip this trade token and play this agenda that I have. So let's do this middle action first. It's free. And I can take an advance or an improved tech. Unfortunately, I can't hold another. Uh, but the other half is I can remove a Voidborn fleet power from an adjacent sector. So I'm going to take one off of this rift. Okay. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is spend four resources. And it's going to have to be food because I have six food and nothing else. So go down to two food. And that allows me to gain a basic tech first. And that's going to be terraforming. And I'm taking that. The uh, immediate effect is I can increase a peer population. So this five is going to go up to a six. And a population went up, so I gain one credit. That's really all I'm going to do with that. That was the whole point of that. Um, and now I can also produce uh, credits and science. Let's produce credits. I get two. And science, I get 15. I was at zero, unfortunately, so I didn't get the overproduction of science. Um, but now I can spend two credits or two resources, and I'm gonna spend two science to do this last one, which is gain an agenda and remove a crisis card. And I might as well remove this level three one. Let's just get rid of it even though I think I would survive the skirmish just fine. Let's like not do the math, just be done with it. Um, and as far as an agenda goes, I very much want this one here. Um, agricultural union, and I'm gonna have to take the corruption that goes with it. And that's gonna go on the decontamination chamber, so those are full. So I've done all three of these actions, so now I'm going to hopefully do this invade action. Again, I didn't do the math, but I'm assuming I'm going to survive. So I want to invade this rift, and I'm going to do so with either two or three of these. Let me do the math real quick. Yeah, I think I'm going to invade with two. I'll leave one behind. Um, so those two carriers deploy to corvettes. And on the way in, I lose one. So it's going to come back here uh, from the sector defense. So now the initiative is tied. I have three, they have three. Uh, so we fire at the same time. Uh, so they lose a fleet power, but I absorb using the shields from the Corvette. Uh, so now the next salvo, I've got three, they've got two. So I fire first, they fire second. And I guess I will take one of these off. Um, and now I've got the initiative, I fire and they do not fire back. So I won combat so I can score my glory, which is nine. So I go back up to 136, where I think I was a minute ago. Um, and then I can either gain five resources or remove a corruption. And I'm excited to say I can remove a corruption. I'm gonna take it out of this sector here and because I'm removing one that's not on decontamination, I can also remove one that is on decontamination. So that's great. And now this becomes a standard sector. Let's take these off. So I flip it over with a population of one. Fairly confident that's a pure population. I'll double check. Yes, I've got that right. Pure population of one, according to the glossary. Uh, so that took out the rift, denied the Voidborn 30 influence, which is awesome. Um, and then I've already resolved the crisis um, for this round, so I don't need to worry about that. So I just need to put this trade token back. About 10 miles away. Um, heroic innovation goes away. And I want to replace my existing dominance agenda with this new one. So this one just goes back to the bottom of the stack. All right, pretty good. So we're four turns in, two more to go. Let's check out the next alert. It's another three, come on. 
And it says, um, when you gain an agenda, select from a corrupted agenda. I got so lucky that that was in my plan anyway. Um, so next, I am playing my special conquest card along with the agenda that I just picked up a minute ago, Agricultural Union. And what am I doing with it? I'm starting off by doing this action here, invest. I'm going to spend three credits, aka all my credits, to gain a trade token. Why did I put these so far away? Gain a new trade token. Uh, for the bonus, I will take... Uh, I don't think it matters. I'll take two energy why not because uh, I can take credits that's why two credits <laughs> um, for the trade token and I can also gain an agenda and as long as I choose from a corrupted one I will solve this current crisis and I am going to take this wealth agenda here which is corrupted I don't even care what it does I just want the effect okay so that was this action. I'm going to take the one on the bottom, spend one science done to produce science. So I've got 12, 13, 14, 15. Um, so the other 12 turn into credits. So that gets me up to 14 credits. And I overproduced. So that's three influence, 139. And I'm going to take the actions here. Uh, I don't have any... Uh, fleet power to activate, but I can put down a installation and I don't know that it matters at all. I guess I'll put down a sector defense. Um, so I'm not going to score any points off of installations. So I might as well pick something that is useful. I'm going to put it here because if I lose the sector, I would lose my mind. Um, so that's that action. So I did my three things. Um, and I solved the crisis. That was very lucky. I can't believe that this cycle started with corrupting all the agendas and I've cleared three of them. Um, so conquest goes here. This needs to be slotted. And then I want to keep this. I'm going to replace industrial nourishments with agricultural union. That'll score better. So I can put this back. Okay. And one more alert to draw. Two. So our final crisis. After resolving a conquest focus, which is what I just did, choose to also uh, recall twice. Otherwise, the penalty is remove two installations from non-home sectors. I might take that penalty because um, I won't lose any points over it, but if I make it an ongoing crisis, it will cost me some points. So my last um, focus card of the game is going to be production, and I'm going to play this agenda with it. You know what? I'm going to spend the trade token. I wasn't really planning on it, but I'm going to. Because this is kind of funny. I'm going to take this first action now, which is free. Uh, advance this track, which would have unlocked another tech. That would have been helpful. Um, but now I gain another agenda. And I don't even care because I have no more plays. But it's might. Uh, so I take a corruption. And I guess I'll put that corruption right there on that track. Um, and now I can spend, uh, it's one food and one energy, but I'm just going to spend two credits. And the action is remove a corruption. So I'll remove this one, which also gets one of these out of here too. Great. Uh, and then I can also move my fleets around, but I don't know that I need to. I think I'm, I think I'm good where everything is. So now I am going to take this action, which is free. I'm going to produce food, energy, and materials. So food I have two, and I produce 15. So that's just going to get me up to 15. So I've overproduced. 
39, 40, 41, 42, 142. So overproduced food. Uh, I'm going to produce three energy for a total of three. I'm going to produce five materials for a total of five. And then gain one influence for each of those types of sectors or uh, guilds that's pure. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six influence gets me up to 148. And now I'm going to take this action, which allows me to place a guild and then produce from that guild type. So I'm going to put it here. My science is already full. I can't go up anymore, uh, but I still produce it. And it's already max, so it produces 15. Uh, all the overflow turns into credits, which is now maxed. And I get three influence for overproducing science. And that was the second time I overproduced uh, this turn. I did food and then science. So I can now um, take one of these fleet power and put it on this other safe haven. Great. Um, oh, you know what I didn't do? That's okay. Uh, the one thing I didn't do that was part of my master plan was max out this uh, statecraft track, but that's okay. Uh, so I'm going to put this trade token back. I'm not going to slot that agenda. So this just goes back into the pile. And now if we count it up, one, two, three, four, five, six, six focus cards. That's the end of cycle three. So we go to uh, the evaluation phase, starting with resolving. Oh, sorry, I got to take care of that. I did not play a conquest card, so I am going to take the penalty and remove two installations not in my home sector. So I'm going to take these two shipyards. There we go. Penalty taken. And while I'm thinking about it, I just played production focus. So uh, this one, while playing, resolving a production focus, choose to remove bounty tokens from the map twice. So how about this one and this one? Removed. Okay, so that is this resolved as well. All crises resolved. Okay, so now we're on the evaluation phase. We need to resolve the crisis board. So first there's a skirmish. Uh, this is cycle two or cycle three. So we're gonna have one void born, according to that, plus one for being cycle three. So two void born fleet power. So let's just try every sector. This one's not valid. Uh, if they come in here, they lose one on approach, and then I fire first, so I win. If we go to this sector, they lose both on approach. Uh, if we go to either of these sectors, they're the same. Let's see how that plays out. Now, if we go here, um, we have the same initiative, two to two. Uh, so we fire at the same time. They lose one, but I, each of these has the ability to absorb one. So let's say I absorb it here. Now the next salvo, I've got the initiative, and they're gone. Same thing would happen up there. So I survive the skirmish, uh, no matter where it is. And now I need to pay the economic cost is going to be one energy, one material, and one science. Great, that's the crisis board. Now we need to pay upkeep, and I've got two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve upkeep, and I've got fifteen food. Down to three, so I paid all the upkeep. That's awesome. Now, I have two pure sectors with six population and three guilds. So that means I can build two levels of a safe haven. So I'm going to have to recall this fleet power and then use this one here. And now that safe haven's complete. Um, so I can remove a harbinger and I'm going to remove this one. That's pretty good. Uh, if we go to the galactic bonuses, it looks like I qualify for both. So on the bottom, um, I have zero corruption on my house mat. Again, decontamination chambers doesn't count. And I do have, I have six techs, so that would give me 20 influence. Uh, alternatively, I could score based off in one influence for 
my highest yield of anything and then my lowest yield between food, energy, and material. So what would that be? My highest of anything is 15 and my lowest of these three is three. So that would be 18 influence. So I would rather take the bottom and get 20 influence. That's better. Okay, and now the last step, we score all the agendas that are pure, which is all of them. Um, so again, we'll combine these two. For each basic tech, I'm gonna get two influence and two influence. So four influence for each basic tech. One, two, three. Three times four is 12. For each improved tech, I get four plus three, so seven for each improved tech. And I've got one, two, three. Three times seven is 21. Okay. And one influence uh, for every pure sec uh, guild of any type. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, on this one here, we've already scored for the techs, but I also gain four influence if I have at least four pure sectors, which I definitely do. So another four. Here, if I have two pure sectors with at least five population, which I do, I gain four influence. And then four influence um, times the level of my statecraft track, which is three. This is at level three. Uh, so three times four is another 12. I was really hoping to get that to level four. I couldn't do it all, that's okay. And then if I have three pure farmer's guilds, one, two, three, I do, then I gain seven influence. And finally, uh, for each pure sector with at least one science guild, I gain four influence. So one, two, three, four, five. Five sectors times four is 20. So my final score is 266. Love that. Let me get another dial for the Voidborn. All right, so Voidborn are going to start off with 100. They get 30 for each Rift. There are none. 20 for each Incomplete Safe Haven. There are none. 20 for each Catastrophe Token. None. 10 for each uh, Harbinger on the map. None. 5 for each Consumed Tech. None. 5 for each Ongoing Crisis. None. 3 for each Fallen House none two for each corruption um now that's a question uh the decontamination ones i assume they will count but also evaluation phase you may remove one from this card so i might as well get rid of at least one i didn't do that um but i'll still count the one that's left it's a corruption i don't see why not so there's one none on the agendas none other on the mat um Two, three, four, five. So five points there. So they're up to 105. And then one for each population in corrupted sectors. So that's going to be these four sectors. Uh, three, three, three. So that's nine plus another five is 14. Um, so the final score is how Zenor. 266, Voidborn 119. I'm not going to do the math, but I beat him. <laughs> okay, I did the math. I beat him by 147. Uh, so I more than doubled him, which is great. Uh, that was super fun. Uh, definitely after, after cycle one and even into cycle two, I even going into cycle three, really, I didn't feel super confident with it. Uh, the safe havens... Uh, needed a lot of work still. The rift was a couple sectors away. So I was really pleased with that last cycle and how everything came together. Now I did take a lot of time to look at all my cards before cycle three and really plan out what I was going to do, which is fine. 
but I think it showed it was more optimized. It was it was better executed than I than I think I, when you know when I'm just sitting at the table. I I kind of want to just play the game. I don't want to hold up the game, but uh, definitely stopping and looking at it, I did better. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Anyway, uh, I'm sure that a lot of folks out there would have gotten a much better score than 266. So if you're one of those people, let me know what I missed. What could I have done better? Uh, where, where were my missteps? I, I think I did pretty good, but certainly not perfect. So I would love to know. Um, and then what else would you like to see on this channel? Um, there's a lot more voidfall I'd love to play. Uh, if there's a specific combination of a scenario and a house, um, or certain technologies, you know, put it in the comments. Let me know. I'd love to try it out. Uh, also, uh, I'll call out real quick on board game geek. There's a monthly, uh, solo void fall challenge that I definitely recommend. Um, it's super cool. They're doing a great job keeping that thing running. Um, so that's some friendly competition if you're looking to do that. Uh, otherwise that's what I've got for this week. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you're here and you like what you saw, please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate that. Um, and definitely leave some comments. Let me know whatever you want, uh, <laughs> whatever's on your mind. Uh, go ahead and put it down there and I'd love to respond to it. So thanks again. This has been Table for One and uh, this was Voidfall. I'm super excited to get to put it on this channel. I will see you in a week. Take it easy. <laughs>